about our second story we we're talking about Cassie Paul <laughs> now this actor entertainer social commentator now you all know wherever there's Steve there's Cassie Paul he's just over there somewhere over there he always has an opinion about something and he's also very loud you can't miss him you will see him if he's not shining you will hear his voice now he had an opinion about gospel music in Kenya recently he's just come off of um, a Euro tour that was sponsored by um, an artist by the name Bunny Asila. He sponsored a group of people and they went um, to Europe just to tour Europe. And he said they toured over 10 countries. And his take back from his travels is that the perception of Kenya in Europe is that Kenya is a nation of gospel. He went on to say that this is, a, is not a country where people come to sing secular songs. It is a nation built on gospel principles. Uh, the president his wife, the deputy president, president and his family all love gospel music. So why shouldn't you, an ordinary Kenyan, love gospel music? Now I hear that, you know, we are fundamentally a very Christian uh, country. And even right now, our leader is, I, I don't want to say names, our leader is very predominantly Christian. And he's uh, taken a stance. Even the first wife is... Um, saying that the rains that are happening is because of the prayer festival that they had. They fasted and prayed for the rains to sweep across East Africa. So you can see where I'm going with this. We are known as a very Christian country. But I was with him until there, until he went on to... Uh, uh, and also he said Guardian Angel is the, is the number one gospel artist in Kenya. We must acknowledge him and respect him for that. True, Guardian Angel has been very consistent in his craft. He is... He's not wishy-washy about what he's doing. Not, not like, you know, these days, gospel artist, one day you're singing gospel music, the next day you're singing love songs, the other day you're in the club doing a, a performance for your, you know, like the really blood gray areas when it comes to most gospel artists, recent gospel artists in Kenya. But Guardian Angel has been very consistent in his craft. He has a stance and he has stuck by it. I was with him until there, until he said that we must respect Rington as the chairman of gospel in Kenya. Ringtone has held modern Kenyan gospel uh, music as the chairman. Anyone else claiming, claiming to be an alternative chairman is garbage. Ringtone is the only chairman. This I disagree with you. Ringtone cannot be the, the face of gospel music in Kenya. He himself is a very controversial person. He is always mixed up is in something. Allegedly, there was land grabbing cases. Allegedly, there was fraud. Then there are people coming out and accusing him of various things. We had other women. You cannot be the face of gospel music when there's so much drama and scandal and controversies around you. Please. Find a better chairman. You need better PR as the gospel industry because if this your king, then we do not really have a lot of faith in you. If you are to say Guardian Angel is the chairman of gospel music, that I agree with because clearly he knows what he is doing. He is not wishy-washy about anything that he is doing. He is a gospel musician. He is very straight about it. But ringtone. This, this is your king, please. I feel like he just threw in there for the scandal, for the blogs, for the story to catch on fire. If that's the case, then hmm, that's interesting. Good for you. But if that's not the case and that's what you genuinely believe, that's also very interesting. Tell us your opinion. I agree. I agree. The first part of the conversation is quite um, agreeable. For example, he said, when I, um, I learned that the Kenyan people, uh, it's a country built on Christian principles. The deputy president and his family love gospel music. So why shouldn't the ordinary person love gospel music? That part I completely agree with. With because honestly yes a lot of us have been raised up in a uh, very christian homes and uh, you know religious homes and backgrounds mm -hmm. however it's giving very diplomatic answer mm -hmm. it's giving very i'm trying to appease a particular group of people it's giving very hey look at me i will not shame you or make you look bad when you give me a chance to speak in public Sure. It's giving you very political. It's giving very oh okay. I am a clean PR. You know, it's it's that's the energy. Unfortunately, it's giving me anyway. So that's all I can say about that part. However, the throw the throwing of ringtone down there 
you know, imagine if someone from uh, his country doesn't know about ringtone. Mm -hmm. And then actually goes like, ooh, ringtone. Okay, who's this ringtone? Mm -hmm. Goes online and opens up. Just ringtone a poke. And then, pew, the list of all his mishaps and, you know, vileness is showcased. You think they would actually give us any good PR if they did that? And that's the issue. I'm just saying there was no reason to bring in Mr. Rington Apoko. Watch out to a baki to Ponyetu. In fact, he's been very quiet. Mm -hmm. I like that. And now you're bringing him up to talk again. Like, what's he your has problem? He's been quiet. Like, he's, well, he's now commenting about the floods. Yo. He's been quiet ish when it comes to the news. Uh, when it comes to mainstream media, he's been very quiet. There's not been any like huge controversy. We've not been seeing him, I don't know, fighting with conductors on the road with bandages. Do you know what I mean? It's been like low key, no drama. Him, he's been talking about other things, but not about himself. So I think he's been quiet enough. We just need to keep him just like a Nyamazisha your ringtone, as in mm -hmm. to. Just press it, put everyone's phone on mute. That's all. We just want to put him on mute just a little bit longer. Let other people get a chance to talk and do their thing. And then eventually we'll bring him back. But for now, it's it's too much. Moving on swiftly. And I know that sounds a hella harsh, but like, have you seen Ringtone Apoko's headlines? Like, have you seen them? It's, 